Ipana Toothpaste and Sal Hepatica present Master District Attorney, Champion of the People, Defender of Truth, Guardian of our fundamental rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> Mr. District Attorney is brought to you by Ipana Toothpaste and Sal Hepatica. Ipana for the smile of beauty. Sal Hepatica for the smile of health. Ipana, Sal Hepatica. tragedies in some criminal histories, ladies and gentlemen, is the exaggerated role minor circumstances play in the making of a transgressor. In tonight's unusual case of spring fever, for example, it is apparent that insignificant factors, a mood, a normal impatient yearning for success, and a spring night, all combine to help make a criminal. We begin at dusk in a large park here in the center of our city. Nikki. Yeah. Feel the grass. Oh, isn't it wonderful? Huh? Oh, when you run your hand through it, I mean, it's almost like velvet. You'll catch cold lying on the ground like this, Mary. Mm, no, I won't. Couldn't on a night like this. The city seems a million miles away. Only a block. I know, but it seems that way. Oh, listen. Hold my hand, Nikki. Mary, listen a minute. After we're married, or when we have children, I mean, I'm going to bring them over here every night. The same spot. Mary, I saw Deuce Wilton today. Nikki, uh, Nikki, you promised. You know what he is. He's, well, he's trouble. He even has a police record. Listen, Mary, you got to understand this. Deuce Wilton and I, well, we... Nikki, tell me. Tell me quick. All over. Nikki. Don't get mad, honey. We got some money, that's all, this afternoon. What? Enough for everything. We can get married, fix up your old lady's arm, take a trip even. Why, we. What did you do? Tell me, Nikki. Tell me now. We. We stuck up a filling station. Oh. Well? Is there more, Nikki? I want to know it all. More. What else? The filling station guy is dead. All right, Brophy. String that line along the driveway. Yeah, that's right. Okay, Chief. Well, we got the ropes up, Chief. This whole side of the gas station is closed to traffic. Oh, good. Has the lab truck arrived yet, Mr. Miller? Yes, it has, Chief. Oh, and the medical examiner wants to know if he can take the body downtown. Oh, yes, I believe so. Okay. We have all the measurements, haven't we, Harrington? That's right, Chief. And pictures, too. I had Ray shoot from all the angles. Fine. Fine. Well, all right, then. We'll let the lab crew go to work on the driveway. Here. Why? Did you find something, Chief? Well, you never know in a case like this. Tire marks, pieces of broken glass... Even the oil that dripped out of the car is standing here at the pumps. It's uh, just as well to cover everything. Check. The diagrams ought to be easy, though, Chief. Mm -hmm. As I see it, uh, the car pulled off the street and stopped right uh, right here in front of this gas pump. Yes, yes, I was just going over that. Mm -hmm. uh, the attendant was inside the office, wasn't he? Yeah, that's right, Chief. According to the dame across the street, he was. Uh, she's here, Miss Miller. Uh, the witness? Yeah. Yes, Ted's with her inside. All there. right, I'll talk to her in just a moment. We're agreed, then, Harrington... The attendant came out of the office, approached the car about here. Yeah, that's right. That's my guess, Chief. One of the men must have got out of the car right here where the chalk mark is and backed him up to the office door. Yes, and then opened the cash drawer. 
Oh, how much did they get, incidentally? Well, Mac's checking the ledgers, Chief. About uh, $400, he thinks. Oh, as much as that. Yeah, that's right, Chief. It was just before they changed shifts in these stations, you know. The whole eight hours tape was in the drawer. Yes, I see. Uh, this is the spot here where the attendant was shot down. Mm -hmm. Where the red chalk is, Chief. I figure he must have made a move maybe toward that phone and maybe the bums got nervous. Yes, yes, that seems likely. And now, what about that witness, Harrington? Anything at all? Nothing positive on the car, Chief. A black sedan, she says. No make. License? She didn't look. She does have a good description of one of the men. There were two in the car. Oh. And the one was considerably younger than the other, she says. Well, let's get her story then, Harrington. I want to know where she was standing, what she saw, and, oh, yes, if she can point out either of the men in the file. Well, she's waiting, Chief. Good. We'll get right down to work. Hey, Nick, get this now. Get this ending. It's swell, Duke. Mr. Wilton, you've got to talk to me. This is your girl, huh, Nick? I told you about Mary, Deuce. We're going to get married. How are we, honey? Nice looking kid. Only, uh, you made a mistake, Nick. Me? What do you mean, Deuce? I'll get you. I made Nicky bring me here, Mr. Wilton. I want to talk to you. All the bright eyes. Hey, look, Nick. Uh, look at the tip of my nose. Hey, come on, look close. Yeah? Nicky! Oh. Oh, what? No harm, Nicky. That's just so you remember. I told you not to bring anybody up. You don't have to hit a guy, Deuce. Mary made me bring her. Yeah? Well, what for, Blue Eyes? Because Nicky's in trouble, that's why. You killed a man this afternoon, didn't you? He isn't. I won't let Nicky get mixed up in it. Mary, will you shut up? Lay off, Nick. Go on, little girl. Talk some more. There's no more to say. I just want you to keep away from Nicky, that's all. Oh, yes, and he's going to give you back his share of the money. Oh, well, that's real nice of him now, isn't it? Go on, Nicky. Give it back to him. Doris, listen. She's excited. Clam up. You're just a little late, you know, little girl. Nicky is mixed up with me. Plenty mixed up. He didn't kill anybody. You did. Oh, you know that too, huh? You get more mixed up all the time, Nick. Oh, well, uh, before I forget, I got a little present for you. Nick, that's a gun. Deuce, but no need to get excited, Nick. It's for you. What? Go on, take it. Nicky, don't. Take it, I said. And as for you, kid, get lost. You think the cops don't want you, Nicky, just because I did the shoot? But I don't... We're partners, sister, right up to here. Oh, Nicky, he can't do this to you. He can't. Get lost, I said. I got another job lined up, Nick. We'll pull it off as soon as I get the junk case. Another gas station? Yeah, cinch. I figure... Up. Well, what are you staring at? This isn't true. It can't be. Nicky, come on. He ain't going, Mary. As a matter of fact... Neither are you. Goose, now wait. Don't look so scared, Nick. I just forgot to tell you that's all about your girl here. How about me? Yeah. We're putting you to work, Bright Eyes. Starting with this gas station today. an alert, Harrington? Citywide, Chief. It was on the wire at noon. Good. We may be wrong, of course, but if experience is right, this pair will try another job and sure, soon. Sure, Chief. Like that gang a few weeks back, they knocked over four liquor stores, and the fifth one, we nailed it. Yes, yes, I was thinking of that. Mm -hmm. Or the Garrison couple. Oh, yeah, John and Kay. Mm -hmm. Same thing, Chief. They specialized in bus drivers. Chief, excuse me. Yes. The artist is here with the first draft. Oh, thank you, Miss Miller. Ask him to wait. Oh, honest, Chief, what's more? What? Well, it's the usual. I had one of the men in the drafting room talk to that witness. Mm -hmm. He's doing a sketch from her description. Oh, good. Everything helps, Chief. Me, I'll just keep looking for bums around filling stations. Yes. Yeah. Hello? Well, the woman's hazy on some important details, but I thought we'd try her on a few sketches before we go any further. Uh -huh. Then there are the lab reports from the filling station itself. 
I'll go over those this afternoon. Say, Chief. Yes, Miss Miller, what is it? That was the 19th Precinct. Yes. They just got a report on the Green Top filling station in their district. Yeah, what report, Miss Miller? Oh, it's not a holdup, Harrington. But the station attendant was warned this morning. Uh, you know, they all were. Well, for Pete's sake, will you get to the point? Well, I'm trying to, Harrington. <laughs> this attendant says a man has been hanging around his station since noon. Huh? Harrington. I got you, Chief. If that joint's going to be cased, we're in. <laughs> Stop the car, please, honey. That's it up ahead, Mary. See? The green top service station. Do so to be quiet. We can't do this, I tell you. Oh, Nikki, listen to me. Deuce isn't here now. We can drive right to the police station and tell them the whole thing. Mary, will you use your head? But I don't Let see what... Let me talk, Mary. We can park here, Matt. I still say Maybe we Maybe can... there's nothing we can do. Don't you understand that? If I go to the cops now, Deuce will say I was with them on the other job. But they might make allowances. Will you listen to me? we got to knock this joint off and get back to Deuce in one hour. If we don't, he'll... He'll what? Honey, he wouldn't stop at anything. Take your old lady. Mama? What about her? You don't want her to get... Well, hurt, do you? Nicky! you got to think of things like that, Mary. If we rat on Deuce, he might do anything. Oh, Nicky, no. What, what Mama's just... Oh. You see, kid? We got it. I'm scared, Nikki. I don't want to do this. Take it easy, Mary. I'm turning into the station. Oh, Nikki, please, can't we? Be quiet, baby. There's the attendant coming out of the office. I'm so scared I can't even see. It's funny. Do said the guy was just a kid. Here we go, baby. Come on, open the door and get out. No. Nothing's gonna happen. Go on. I'll be right behind you. All right. Fill her up, sir. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Fill her up. Regular or high test? High test. <laughs> Boy, it's a wonderful day, ain't it? You'll find out, pal. Start backing up. Huh? You heard me. Head of the office, buddy. Stand in front of me, Mary. Okay. I ain't moving, son. Get in there, I said. Come on. Listen to me, son. Listen hard. We've been waiting for you. You ain't got a chance. Nicky. Shut up. Come on, Mac. Move, I said. Look for yourself, son. Go on, look. You see those men on the corner? They're detectives, boy. We can look. That's right. The other side, too, Nick. See? <laughs> We've been waiting for you. Why don't you be a good kid and make it easy? Mary, come here. Nicky, let go, Nicky. You're hurting my arm. See this copper? I've got my gun right in this kid's back. Oh, Nicky, don't shoot me. Please don't. Shut up, Mary. All right, copper, start something. Let the girl go, Nick. Go ahead, start something. Oh, let me go. I haven't done anything, Nicky. Let me go, please. You're getting back in the car, you understand, copper? That's it, Mary. Just come straight back. Nicky, you're hurting me. Please. Don't be a fool, Nick. Huh? Let the girl go. Right in the car. Huh? Easy does it. Now, get this, wise guy. One shot. Get that at us or the tires or anything else. One shot, and I let her have it right here. Mr. Do what he says. I don't want to get shot. You understand me, mister? What do you? Ralphie! Hold your fire. Shut the door, Mary. Slam it, I said. I am, Nikki. Jimmy! Ned! Sullivan! Hold your fire! Let them get away. In just a few moments, we will pick up the developments of this interesting case. But first, here's an important question. Tell me, who should know best the difference between toothpaste? Who should know best the difference between toothpastes? Why, that's easy. Who else but your dentist? That highly skilled friend of yours whose life work is the care of your teeth, the health of your gums. So just ask your dentist about Ipana toothpaste and gentle gum massage. So many dentists recommend massage. And a nationwide survey shows more dentists recommend Ipana toothpaste 
than any other dentifrice. And wait a moment. More dentists personally use iPetta than any other toothpaste. That's right. There's an overwhelming preference for iPetta. You see, iPetta followed by gentle gum massage is the modern way to aid the health of your gums and the brilliance of your smile. Help your dentist help your smile. For remember, your dentist knows best the difference between toothpaste. Begin now getting your new iPana smile. Taste the freshness. Feel the cleanness. See the sparkle. Get iPana toothpaste for your iPana smile. And now back to Mr. District Attorney. I just had to use my own judgment, Chief. What decided me was the kid himself, this Nicky. How do you mean, Harrington? Well, I'm looking for a murder, Miss Miller, right? Yes. A guy that looks something like that sketch the Chief had drawn up? Yes, from the description by that witness. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay, so when this Nicky kid uses the girl as a shield, I think to myself, now, Harrington, if you start something, that little girl might get shot. Yes, go on. Now, if this Nicky looked at all like the killer master chief, maybe I'd handle it different, but it ain't the same face at all. Well, I let him get away. It's all right. I agree with you completely. It was the only thing to do. Oh, thanks, chief. Of course, we got right on it after the car pulled out. I got every precinct in town alerted. Well, I shouldn't think it'd be so hard from now on, Harrington. The description you gave of Nicky and Mary is in all the papers this noon. That's what puzzles me is the new set of people. The first filling station robbery, the murder, that is, was done by two men. Sure. And the one that saw one of them sure ain't talking about this Nicky. Well, we're making some progress, at least. The ballistics report is in on the shooting. Oh, yeah. Oh, Chief, that other report is here, too. The one on the tire mark. Oh, yes. Thank you, Miss Miller. I've got Ted on the files, Harrington. He's checking all the pictures that look anything like the murder. Oh, excuse me. Uh, hello, District Attorney's Office. Yeah, uh, Chief, what oh. about the ballistics report? Anything you have in it? To speak slowly, uh, please. Uh, I, I, I can't Harrington. hear you. No. Yes, y- yes, I have that. Mrs. John Evans. Hmm? Your daughter Mary? Hmm? Oh, in the newspapers. Yes. What was that? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Uh, Nikki, what? Oh, for crying out loud, let me have that, Miss Miller. This is what we've been waiting for. <laughs> It was simple, Deuce. I didn't even shoot at the car. You ought to get one of these things, Nicky. You can play good music on them. Mr. Wilton, you got to do something. That policeman saw us. They'll be looking everywhere. Lucky you told me to smear the license plates with mud, Deuce. Otherwise, I'd have traced the car here. A kazoo, I think they call it. Ever play one, little girl? Mr. Wilton, please listen to us. They'll be looking for Nicky. You're just tumming them, sort of. Uh, listen once. Deuce, will you stop it? We're in trouble, Deuce. You got to tell us what to do. You got any money? Just what's left of my share. Any more? Uh, I have money. I mean, I can get some. They owe me back pay at the store where I work. You can't go there, Mary. Somebody recognizes Why can't she? You're the only one they'll be looking for. How far is this place, sister? It's the up to the minute cleaners. It isn't far. Mary, no, I won't let you. You'll do what I tell you, Nikki. Get your hat on, Mary. Go get that dough. And about your daughter, Mary. District Attorney's Office calling. Is this the up to the minute cleaners? Well, just a moment, please. The district attorney wants to talk to you. Mary Evans? What? Hi, Mary. Oh, let me go. Please, let me go. Harrington's the name, Mary. Remember me? Oh. Are you on your way to Nick with that pay envelope, I? I, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, it's funny, but I still think you're a nice kid, Mary. Otherwise, I'd have let you lead me right back to your boyfriend. I... I don't understand. You will. I just don't want you to get hurt. Come on, Mary. We got a date downtown. I think you're telling the truth, Mary. Don't you, Harrington? I think she is, Chief. Now, don't you see, Mary? It isn't Nick we want so much. 
It's the other man. Now, there is another man, isn't there? Please. I, I don't know anything. Let me have that sketch, Harrington. Yeah, right here, Chief. Now, this is the man we mean, Mary. You know him, don't you? Oh. Don't you? Oh, please, won't you just leave me alone? Can I try, Chief? Yes, yeah, sure, of course, sir. All right, Mary. Nick's in trouble. You know that, don't you? Yes, sir, I do. All right, Mary, listen to me. Being in trouble is one thing, and murder is another. But Nick didn't kill anybody, else. Who did? I... I can't. I can't squeal on Nick. Oh, I Mary, can't. Mary. I'm sorry to interrupt, but this is important. Yes, no, 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 no. One of the detectives you assigned just called in. He's located the... Uh, wait a minute, I got it written down here. Oh, the 717. What? You sure, Miss Miller? He's waiting on the phone for instructions. Harrington. Yeah, Harrington. What is it? Everything we need, I hope. Oh, Miss Miller, yes, sir. call the emergency crew, will you please? Huh? Four cars on the truck. Right away, Chief. The riot squad? What for, Chief? For a killer, Harrington. Come on, let's go. The crews are all stationed, Chief. What about the street blockade? All set up. They got traffic stuff for two blocks in every direction. That's fine. In the back of the building? I put Brophy back there with Squad C. All right, then. We're ready, I think. Here's the public address system set up. Yeah, here's the mic right here, Chief. Just give me a chance to get up those stairs. Oh, that won't be necessary, I hope. Hmm? Just keep your eye on that doorway. All right, let's get this turned on. Hello? Hello? Uh, turn this on, will you, Jack? Hello. Hello. Oh, that's fine. Thanks. Yeah, let's not play with these babies too long, Chief. They're tricky. Nick Ogden. Nick Ogden. This is the district attorney, Ogden. Come out with your hands in the air. Nothing yet, Chief. We know you're in there, Ogden. You and the other man. You haven't got a chance. Chief. They doused the light in the apartment. You have ten seconds, Ogden. A thousand and one. Both of you thousand. come out with your hands a over your head. Three. A thousand and four. A thousand and five. Watch that doorway, Harrington. Yeah, I am, Chief. A thousand and eight. A thousand and nine. A thousand and ten. Harrington, stop. They're shooting, Chief. Crazy bums. They're in that hallway. Stay down, Harrington. I'll signal the men. Okay, get out of my way, Chief. I'm going in. No, not without me or not. Come on. Now watch it, Chief. Keep down. There go the tear gas bombs. We can use this car for a shield, Chief. Okay? Yeah. See you there. Hey, boy, that shoot pretty good. You okay, Chief? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll signal the second squad. Hey, Chief, look. Here comes one yes, of them. Yes, I see him. Watch it. Come on, get me, you lousy cop! Be a man! Oh. He's fallen, Harrington, on the sidewalk. Yeah, yeah, watch it, Chief. There's still one more. Yeah. I'm coming in to get you, punk! Harrington, look out. Go on, shoot your rat! Shoot! Come on, cop here! Come on in, get me! Don't worry, mister. I'm coming... Sure, Chief, and you? Nicky. Mary. Mary didn't squeal, Nick. Is that what you want to know? Yeah. Uh, uh. Is he dead, Harrington? Yeah, Chief, he is. How's the other one? Yes, yeah, the same thing. Both of them are uh, all true. The district attorney will return in just a moment to explain the capture of Deuce and Nick. But first, a reminder that tomorrow morning a lot of people will wake up to hear... And to a lot of people that sound can mean a wonderful morning with a good day ahead. But to a lot of other people, there's another sound that can mean the same thing. 
And that's the sparkling sound of sal hepatica in a glass of water. Yes, and unlike slow-acting laxatives, a sparkling glass of sal hepatica, when you get up, brings quick, gentle relief, usually within an hour. That means you don't have to feel dull and headachy all day, waiting until night to take the laxative you needed in the morning. And if at the same time you're troubled with excess gastric acidity, let sal hepatica help sweeten your stomach. So keep a bottle of sal hepatica handy. Then any time you need a laxative, morning, noon, or night, see how much faster you feel better thanks to gentle, speedy sal hepatica. Now here is your district attorney. The two sprawled bodies on the sidewalk are the real answers to tonight's case, ladies and gentlemen. The final payment in full for murder. As for Mary, we're quite sure that with proper help, her rehabilitation will be complete. Poor kid, at least she tried. Yes, she did, Miss Miller. But for the real solution, we have a great deal of excellent police work to thank. The laboratory technicians, detective crews, research men, they all combined to make the capture of Deuce Wilton and Nick Ogden possible. Yeah, that call from Mary's mother helped too, Chief. When I saw her, after she thought maybe her Mary was the girl in the newspapers, she told me where the kid worked. And then when you found out that she had pay coming, you just waited for her. Isn't that right, Harrington? That's right, Miss Miller. But it was the chief, though, that led us to Deuce's joint. Well, thanks to the lab, Harrington. As you know, we made a careful check on every criminal in the files whose face resembled that in the sketch our artist drew up. The one he drew from the witness's report. Right, Miss Miller. One of these men in the file was Deuce Wilton. And in due course, one of the detectives checked at his apartment. Yeah, and his garage, Chief. Don't forget that. Yes, Harrington, and his garage. For there, you see, our man found what we were looking for. A rear left tire, size 717, a tire that fit exactly into the pattern we found on the driveway of the filling station. And when he found that, you knew he'd found the killer, right, Chief? Exactly, Miss Miller. And that was that right. Oh, Chief, uh, don't forget graduation. Graduation? Oh, yes, indeed. Uh, right now, with school graduations at hand, many young people are wondering what life work to take up. Well, do you have the answer? Well, I want to suggest that these intelligent young folks give careful consideration to teaching as a career. Just what does teaching offer, Chief? Well, teachers enjoy such advantages as security, long vacations, and our rising standard of pay. But even more important, the teachers hold a unique position of honor and respect in the community. Quite naturally, people look up to a teacher. For it is the teacher who molds the characters and futures of our children. And through our children shapes the future of our country. And that's why I want to say to every young person graduating from school this spring, give a thought, a very serious thought, to a teaching career. Teaching is not only good work, it is a truly great profession. And now what about next week? Well, friends, we have another exciting story for you next week in the case of the deadly snowflake. Another dramatic episode in our constant war on crime. And so until then, thank you and... Good night. Here it is, men. Yes, here it is. Brand new liquid cream that grooms hair without an unsightly, greasy look. Sentry, S-E-N-T-R-Y, Sentry hair cream. What makes Sentry so different? Unlike most hair creams, there's no mineral oil in Sentry. Just pure vegetable oil. No whitish film on your hair. Sentry seems to vanish on your hair, but Sentry's secret ingredient actually keeps hair neat longer without an objectionable greasy look. Guard your grooming with Sentry. S-E-N-T-R-Y. Sentry hair cream. Hi, Ingram, yourself. The names of all characters in a nice dramatization are fictitious, and any resemblance to names of living persons or actual places is purely coincidental. Our stars were Jay Justin in the title role, Len Doyle as Harrington, and Vicki Vola as Miss Miller. The music was under the direction of Peter Van Steeden. The program is produced and directed by Edward A. Byron and written by Robert Shaw. Mr. District Attorney was originated by Phillips H. Lord. Remember, I pan a toothpaste for the smile of beauty, Sal Hepatica for the smile of health. Bristol Myers invites you to tune in again next week for Duffy's Tavern and Mr. District Attorney. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.